Hello everyone. We will continue the topic usual ABAP class. How we are calling the usual ABAP class method. Now we already covered that imported imported importing parameters convert to exporting and exporting convert to importing because we are calling this method inside a program now this is my input i will pass here i will uncomment all these things now i will declare four variables which will just return the output lv underscore er dat lv underscore er zet lv underscore er num lv underscore vb type so how this particular program will work whatever the input i will give this input from this program we are exporting this input to this particular method it means from this program we are exporting so whenever the input will go to this particular method it will treat as importing it will fetch data of these four columns output will come to these four exporting parameters and whenever it will return to our program it will treat as importing so p -E -E -R date will return to lv -E -R date similarly for other things also so it is a instance method so we called the instance method with the help of object now if i will pass the wrong input suppose if i will pass the wrong input this particular exception will raise whenever this particular exception will raise and you can see for this particular exception the number is 1 it means i will receive the size of rc as 1 if one means size sub rc is not equal to zero so i will give some message here i will go to message class and i will give some message we all know sc91 is the transaction code for message class i will use some existing message class suppose i will give the message as suppose input is not correct i will save this message class and this the message number is 002 how I will give in my program message. Now, what is the message number? 002. E means I am giving an error message. 002. And in the bracket, I will give the message class name. So, this is the way to give a message message type e is error 002 is the message number and this is my message class if you are giving a wrong input this exception will raise this exception will raise wrong input and this particular message will appear to the end user if 
you are giving a right input it will fetch data of these four columns data will return to these four variables and if we are passing a right input it means size sub r c will be equal to 0 so we all know if i want to print the output i can print with the help of right statement i am writing lb underscore er dat i will write lb underscore er zdt i will write lb underscore er num and i will write lv underscore vp time. I'll check the syntax and I will. Okay. Now I have to declare these four variables. I will declare data er dat type er dat. I will go for er num it is er num erzet type erzet and vb type i will give the type as vb type i will check the syntax it is syntactically so now I will run this particular program. Whenever I will run this program, we will receive a runtime error and then we will understand that runtime error and then we will go for detailed explanation. Suppose I am putting a breakpoint here. I am going for execute. I am giving the input. Now I am calling this method with the help of object. And you can see object is initial. Initial means the object is blank. Now I am calling this method with the help of object, but the object is blank. I have not created the object. So if I will go for execute you can simply see i am receiving a runtime error and if you remember but how we can call a instance method you need to create the object whenever you want to call a instance method we only only declared the object if you see we only only declared the object we have not created the object so how we can create a object of usual abap class now the next important thing how we can create create object object name so this is the way how we can create a object of usual ABAP class. So whenever you want to call a method, instance method, you need to create a object. So with the help of that creation of the object, you can call this particular method. Now I will show you in debugging mode. I'm putting the break. I'm going for execute. I'm giving a input. And you can see as of now, the object is blank. Whenever I'm executing and you can see the object is created. When the object is created, I can call this method. Control is inside this method 
I'm fetching the data of these four columns. And this is now the output of the four columns. Size sub R C is zero because I passed a right input and this is the output. Now, suppose if I'm giving a wrong input, if I'm going for execute, you can see if I will give a wrong input, this particular exception will raise. You can see size sub R C is other than zero. This exception will raise. Whenever this particular exception will raise, size sub R C is other than zero. And this particular message will appear to the end user. Input is not correct. So this is the way how we can call a usual ABAP class instance method inside a program. We will continue the rest part in the next video. Thank you.